is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. You still remember when you first arrived here, I'm mm-hmm. sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, been a long way. What, what is it like to, to come from there to... I looked it up before we walked in here. You played more than 50 snaps the past three games. So obviously coaches believe you can get the job done. What's it like to earn their trust in the time that you've been here? Um, I mean, it's been, it's been good, but uh, still got a lot of work to do as far as that point. But, I mean, it feels good to be trusted and um, seen as reliable and dependable. Um, I've been trying to work on that since I've been here as well. Um, that was one of the things they gave me my rookie year. So I've just been trying to build on that every year and year. And I think this year I just really matured more. So just trying to take that onto the field as well and just executing. What, what is it like to every year you have to come here and you have to prove yourself all over mm-hmm. again? I know that's the case yeah. for a lot of NFL players. Right. But it seems like it's more the case for you. <laughs> yeah, no, I got you. Every yeah. year it's somebody to replace you. Right. No, I understand that. Um, just for me, I guess I take that as that's, I mean, my life story. I've been underdog, so I just keep that in my, I mean, my back pocket, I guess, or chip on my shoulder. Um, I don't really try to focus too much on that stuff because, like I said, I've been doing, like, working as an underdog my whole life. So I just keep one day at a time. That's my mindset. So um, I think if you get too wrapped up in all the other stuff, you just start going down and your play starts going down. So just whenever they need me or whenever, you know what I'm saying, they need me to make a play, I'm going to try to do my best and go out there and execute. So just trying to keep doing that. Hopefully they'll keep relying on me. What was the moment when you knew that you could make it in this league? Um, I guess I would say, I don't know, that's a good question. I guess when I first got here, that was a little glimpse in practice and training camp. But then, obviously, preseason didn't go how I wanted it to go. Um, so that was tough. But then I guess when I got brought up that fifth week and I played in the game and I saw, like, I watched myself play, and I was like, oh, wow, like, I really can do this. So it was cool to see that. And I think I played fairly well in my first game. So I think that just helped stack the confidence and just keep me going. What was the move for the second area after the last game? Was it humbling after facing Brady and those receivers? Was there mm. eagerness to, uh, I mean, to prove that that's not you guys? It's kind of humbling, I guess, but like realistically, we know that's not us. Um, we're a way better unit than what we put out there. Um, definitely tough to lose like that. And I don't know, we gave up some, some big plays. So, um, yeah, we know that's not how we play, and we know we got to go out there this week and do what we, what we normally do. So we're just trying to just go out there and execute and uh, compete at a high level. Yesterday we heard from a lot of guys excited about the trip uh, mm-hmm. to London, but the timing of it's kind of weird because you guys are trying to snap a, a losing streak. Is, is it that much more of a challenge going into this mm-hmm. week, knowing the trip ahead of you? Uh, no, I don't think so, because Jacksonville got to do the same thing too. So, I mean, we're just trying to go out there and get a win. We're not worried about uh, what's going on in the outside world and that type of stuff and other distractions. We just want to go out there this week. It's another game week, playing another opponent. Just want to go out there and come out, you know what I'm saying, with a victory. We don't want to worry too much about the travel and stuff. Enjoy London, though? Uh, not, yeah, not that. I mean, my friend just played out there in, in Falcons, and he said it's not what you think it is. So, yeah, and I heard we're staying like an hour away, so I don't know. We'll see. Um, uh, Jalen Hawkins. Yeah, yeah, the interception. After giving, <laughs> after, after giving up so many uh, scores and yards against Tom Brady and company, what's the main thing the secondary has to focus on to improve this week, you think? Um, just technique and your, and your mindset, really. Like, can't just go out there and, uh, and give up all them plays. Like, you got to trust in your technique. Trust uh, that your other teammates gonna be there to help, and trust your leverage, and uh, all the things that fall under that. So, um, and you can't beat yourself up too much because we still have um, plenty more games to play. So, if we're just all thinking about Tom Brady and the Bucks, then we're not even gonna be successful for the Jags. So, we just try to put that behind us and go out there and play. What do you think of Trevor Lawrence? Oh no, he looks like a good young quarterback. Yeah, no, for sure. Hey, Bruce, this week, uh, we saw the uh, today. Uh, just yesterday, uh, obviously now a couple of weeks where, you know, X Byron Jones dealing with uh, different things uh, where, you know, a guy like you might have to step up. 
Um, I'm sorry, what was the question? It's yeah, compared yeah, to you, that? Yeah, uh, how do you approach that? Uh, how do I approach that? that? Um, just, like I said, whenever they need me or whenever my name is called, I'm going to be there and try to give my best and be as reliable and accountable as I can. Um, and like I said, you can't worry about too much what's going on with everything else. You got to just focus on yourself so that you can be in the best position to, to execute when your name is called.